How's it going there boys and girls? This is Stephen from Thailand Unplugged. Back with another video. Driving up towards Nikon Ratchasima by bus to a little city called Kong. Where I'm going to stay for a few days and see what happens. Then I will get the train to Kon Ken. Where I'll get off there and go around to the airport and uh, jump on the plane and head back to wonderful sunny Bangkok. And that's all coming up. Morning all. I'm off today. It's a Winnipeg Airport now. Um, I'm meeting up with a subscriber, subscriber, and then heading up to uh, the Karat area. He's got a bus. He's hired a bus, uh, so I thought I'd jump in and go up to Karat for a while. Heading up to um, a place called Kong. Uh, it's about oh, I think it's 100k from Nikon Ratchasima. I think. I'll have to check later. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Should be good. And Mal's going the other direction. She's going down to Hoi Hin. So, so I'm going to do some videos down there and I'm going to do some videos up here. How's that, eh? Pretty clever. Just on my way to Kong with Mark. Be exciting. Bus full of visitors. Yeah. There you go, we're just arriving in Karat. I just turned on the video. I missed the sign, but believe me, we're in Karat. Now we're going to turn left here. How many k's to um, Kong? Uh, about, uh, what's that, about 50. What? About 50. 50? It's about, we're going to turn left here, we're heading towards Kong and uh, it's about 50k. Dollar gang over there, you can see. I'm all asleep. She's running, she's passed out. Yeah, okay. I've been travelling for about three hours, I think. Something like that. We stopped for lunch, but I. Oh, get my finger out the road. We stopped for lunch, it was really nice. I didn't film it, I was too hungry. Hmm. This is a place you want to head to if you come to uh, Thailand. It's, um, you know, it's cheaper, the hotels are, the, the, the hotels are fantastic value for money and the food's uh, very good value for money. It's uh, very cheap. You know, it's, um, people are just head for Bangkok to go straight to Nana Plaza. Why, I don't know. Give Karat a go, seriously. I've been here a few times, Karat's very nice. Anyway. This is the main centre of Kong. We're coming into the main road. This is, uh, yeah, Kong. Nikon Ratchasima, or Meng Kong, if you like. But uh, locals call it, just call it Kong. But I tell you what, it's a real sleepy little town. Over there on the right, they're building the new fast train station. Uh, I don't know how much faster it's going to be. Uh, it goes directly to Bangkok. The fast train will get you here to uh, get you from Bangkok to here in uh, just a few hours. Apparently, it goes all the way through to Nong Kai. Uh, so, if you're heading up towards Nong Kai, it's just as it's a bone. Anyway, if you want to see a real Thailand, the real Thailand, come here. I mean, it's a really, really slow one horse town. Oh, it's a little, oh, I suppose it's a town, yeah. It's uh, got a population of 5,000, I think. This market's just a laugh and a half. It's absolutely hilarious. The people in here are great. Got a few little bar bars in there as well. You can uh, have a few drinks if you want and have a little bit of a look around. The people are just so friendly towards you here. You know, um, it just it just amazes me coming out to places like this. Just absolutely love it. It's it's just the real Thailand, and, and it's away from the tourist industry and uh, you know the Bangkok tourist industry. Um, it, it's just so different to um, the tourist spots in uh, Thailand. You see the real Thailand and the real people. It's it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, if you want to see the real Thailand, get out of the tourist areas and have a look around. It's uh, it's just such a wonderful country, uh, Thailand, and people don't get to see it because they're stuck in the tourist areas. This house backs onto the uh, river. 
That's his uh, backyard. Do you like that? Unbelievable. He wakes up to that every morning. Look at that for a view. How'd you like that out in your backyard? Very nice. Hmm. Yeah, this guy here, he's... Um, he lives up the front, um, he's got a little tin like shed like whatever, he's got no uh, water or electricity, he lives in a little hut. I don't know whether he's having a sh uh, his daily wash or he's uh, looking for fish, I think he's got a net out there, I'm not sure, and he strings it across the river and I guess he gets his breakfast or something, I really don't know. But apparently he can walk across this river, well he hasn't gone underwater yet, getting his dinner I think, or, or breakfast. Uh, well there he is there if you can see him. I think it's Annette, I'm not sure. I used to be in a circus act with a girl named Annette. Used to get fired out of a cannon and land in a net. <laughs> just going to give this restaurant a go. It's uh, in the middle of town. They've uh, just moved from a large restaurant around the back where they were paying 10,000 baht a month, which was uh, too much for uh, rent in Kong. And now they've moved to this one, a bit smaller, but now, now they're paying 3,000 baht a month. They do all types of Thai food, which is supposed to be fantastic. From uh, Putiao to um, well, well, all sorts of Thai food. Well, virtually any type of Thai food you want, really. So you can virtually name a dish and they do it. The name of the restaurant's the banner on the front, but it's, it's not really translatable to English. So you're in Kong at the moment, they don't really do it like Bangkok and put English names up. So it's uh, all just uh, in, uh, Thai with no English, so you just got to take pot luck virtually. That's Kong for you, away from the uh, tourist traps. Hey, we just ordered lunch. Um... <laughs> Once again, we've eaten it again. I was too hungry. That's really nice, that. Eh? How much was that? How much pot, this one? 100. What's your name? You have to check. Gang Kong. Gang Kong. Gang Very nice. Gang Kong guy. Gang Kong guy. Gang Om Om. That's why I said that. <laughs> Gang Kong what? Gang Om guy. Okay. Gang Kong guy. Yeah. Oh, very nice. They don't want to go on YouTube, so I can't point the camera at them. <coughs> Been ordering these things. How much are these worth, uh, right now? 60 baht? Yeah, 60 baht. Yeah, I've got a few of those. Excellent restaurant. Oh, where are we? There you go, they prepare the food out here. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I got my belt fixed here. She does sewing next door. Very nice. You okay? What's your name? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you don't have a name? <laughs> yeah. What's your name? I don't know. I'm, 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 What's your name? Nat. 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 Okay. That's her restaurant. She works here. Very nice. Hey, it's a good spot. Oh, Jesus, that was boring. This is a Chinese celebration, they have it every year. Nobody really knows what it's all about. And the uh, guy that puts it on, he uh, puts in 3 million baht for it. He's uh, Chinese. Yeah, but uh, when you've got to live with it, it's uh, like uh, Songkran. For the uh, first night, it's uh, great fun. Second night's not so bad. They uh, don't stop till uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. It's just down the road from uh, my friend's place. They have those speakers on full belt. Then at 6.30 in the morning, uh, with the grand finale, they uh, lit up firecrackers. <laughs> Just to annoy everybody, oh, I think. You. Anyway, it's all in good fun. Okay. There you go, there's a uh, Chinese theatre for you. He spends a lot of money, this guy, I tell you. Uh, Three million baht. Just to put this show on uh, each year. Nice to have money. 
The con people like it, I guess, uh, something to do. This is in the centre of town. They block off the centre of town and uh, put these stages up and uh, during the day they take it all back down again and um, life goes on as normal. But uh, it goes for a few days. It doesn't finish till 6.30am uh, with the uh, firecracker 6.30 in the morning. That'd be excellent. Okay, I'm going to catch the train to Nong Kai, uh, but not to Nong Kai, uh, this way goes to Nong Kai, it takes about, uh, it takes about five hours from Nong Kong to uh, Nong Kai, uh, two stops on the way. I'm heading for uh, Kod Ken, um, it's about two and a half hours. This is the uh, temporary train at the moment, they're rebuilding this whole station, um, putting in a fast train, well, I don't know if it's going to be any faster. This is uh, actually the train from Bangkok, and I'm, I'm uh, jumping on that. And I'm not going to Bangkok. I'm going up to um, Con Ken and uh, jump on a plane and uh, fly back to Bangkok. Back in the Swinapum Airport. It's uh, very close to my place, Swinapum Airport. Well, not too far. I believe from uh, Bangkok to Con Ken, it takes about seven hours. I've been told. But anyway, I'll uh, jump on this and uh, get a taxi around to the airport and uh, back, to, back to Bangkok. Sunny Bangkok. <laughs> Apparently it's about two and a half hours to Con Ken, but it's a nice and comfortable train. The uh, seats are good. No air conditioning, of course. I know, going to be boring, I think. Two and a half hours of spectacular scenery. It looks really good, believe me. As you can see. Well, I hope you liked that video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you aren't already. And don't forget the bell notification for any new videos we release. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Thanks for